right, this is our rhythm guitar setup. We have a separate one for lead guitar with EMGs and a wah pedal. That's going to come right up. I'll show you all the settings on everything. Gain is not as high as you might expect. That's because the key to that is the overdrive pedal with the level all the way up, which would also explain the noise reduction pedal. I'll show you all the settings coming up. The chorus pedal is set to taste. I didn't want to go too heavy because once it's there, it's there. There are probably some people out there that can get some better settings than I have, but I didn't want to go too strong with it. Okay, so first thing, uh, this is in one of the earlier videos. I didn't use this. I felt like I didn't really need it, to be honest with you. And it's kind of weird because a lot of times when you're trying to get the tone on a record that was, you know, there's EQ and compression, mixing, mastering, all this kind of stuff. You need as much help as you can get, but I just thought I didn't really need it. So I cut this out. So you might see it in the video. That's why there's no settings or anything shown because I didn't use it. All right, as far as the guitar goes, I thank my brother for loaning this to me. I don't have anything with EMGs in it. This is his guitar. Initially, I was going to take these pickups out and put them in this, but I um, felt like I didn't really need to do that. I was just going to separate it. This is a mahogany body, the same as the Les Paul, and obviously EMG 81, EMG 85. So that's really it for the guitars, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the gear isn't really that much different than what they used on the record. They used the JCM 800 combo into a cabinet. Um, what else? I think the chorus might have been that Yamaha SPX90 that they talk about. There's like a hundred videos on YouTube about that. I don't have any rack gear. I'm thinking about building a rack eventually, but I used the chorus pedal. I know he was using that up into the early 90s, so that was close enough. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. Had a good time making the video. Hope everyone else enjoyed it. This is number two in a series of videos I'm going to do. The first one was the Ride the Lightning one, you know, just using an amp and a couple pedals. So I'm going to put the card for that on the screen if you want to check that one out too. So again, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.